Alright, here's something easy you can do to just win more at basketball. Um, your individual stats might not get, or get better, but you'll definitely win more. Um, so basketball is not just a game of five on five. If you play it right, it's often a game of five on four, four on three, three on two, two on one, one on zero at times. That's the ideal. If you play it wrong, it might be a game of four on five, three on five, two on five, one on five, etc. Um, and that's just vomiting percentage points. I mean, you can score two on five, you can score one on three, but if you just wait for numbers and go three on three, um, or four on three, you know, just wait for your teammates to show up, you'll just have a hugely higher percentage. Now, this is easier said than done. It's like, well, obviously, but I mean, I see it so much at various levels, especially lower levels. Even like, I mean, I play pickup, right? I see this a lot with guys who are good varsity point guards. I don't understand. They'll go in three on five with two guys not even past half court. While the two guys who are not even past half court need to call out three on five, wait for numbers. Or, um, if you've got a three on two, you got to call out three on two. Let's go, right? So basically, the dude who's trailing the pack should always call out the numbers. If we have greater numbers, like a three on two or two on one, it generally means go. If we have like a three on five, less than numbers, it generally means wait. And you could say that three on two, go, three on five, wait for your teammates. You can do this. Um, and I included a couple clips in here of me doing it. First one is both are with my buddy Chandler, and I noticed this. One was a three on two, um, and I said three on two go, and one was a, a three on four where I asked to wait, but he ended up scoring anyways. Now, if people are out of position, there's times to score um, when you don't have the numbers, and there's times to hold it up when you do have the numbers. But in general, you should one, call out the numbers, just be make that your job, and two, go. But, I mean, it's generally the job of the person who's trailing the pack also, right? The person who has trailing the pack has a big view of the field because if you're in front, if I'm in front, there's one guy behind me, I'm trying to shake this one dude and get to the basket, but I don't know what's going on behind me. I'd like to know that it's a three on two. If it's a three on two, I can take a dribble and slow it, wait for my teammates to get into position, and then, you know, do whatever. Um, if um, it's just me and one guy and they say one on three or whatever, well, shit, I just need to beat this one dude and I have a layup, and waiting is just going to get my stuff pinned off the backboard, so I'm just going to go, right? So, um, if, you, if the dude in the front of the pack makes a mistake, it's not necessarily, it's necessarily his mistake, because he's making a decision based on not all the information. The person at the back of the pack has all the information, they need to shout it out. So, that's something really, 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 really easy you can do just to win more basketball, make everybody on your team more efficient. If you're the back of the pack, call out numbers, um, and if people are not going, if, if people are going in no numbers, make a big deal out of it, because say, what the hell are you doing? It's a three on five. Let's play, let's play five on five or greater, or better, right? So a couple clips. First, I'm calling out a three on two. Second, I'm calling out a three on four, so just so you can see how it's done.